is a thing which is all-containing, which was born before the existence of heaven and earth. How silent, how solitary. It stands alone and changes not. It revolves without danger to itself and is the mother of the universe. I do not know its name, so I call it the Tao. The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of 10,000 things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one can see the manifestations. These two spring from the same source but differ in name. This appears as darkness. Darkness within darkness, the gate to all mystery. Under heaven, all can see beauty as beauty only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good only because there is evil. Therefore, having and not having arise together. Difficult and easy complement each other. Long and short contrast each other. High and low rest upon each other. Voice and sound harmonize each other. Front and back follow one another. Therefore, the sage goes about doing nothing, teaching no talking. The 10,000 things rise and fall without cease, creating yet not possessing, working yet not taking credit. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it lasts forever. Not exalting the gifted prevents quarreling. Not collecting treasures prevents stealing. Not seeing desirable things prevents confusion of the heart. The wise therefore rule by emptying hearts and stuffing bellies, by weakening ambitions and strengthening bones. If people lack knowledge and desire, then intellectuals will not try to interfere. If nothing is done, then all will be well. The Tao is an empty vessel. It is used, but never filled. O oh, unfathomable source of 10,000 things, blunt the sharpness, untangle the knot, soften the glare, merge with the dust. O oh, hidden deep, but ever present. I do not know from whence it comes. It is the forefather of the emperors. Heaven and earth are ruthless. They see the 10,000 things as dummies. The wise are ruthless. They see people as dummies. The space between heaven and earth is like a bellows. The shape changes, but not the form. The more it moves, the more it yields. The more words count less. Hold fast to the center. Valley spirit never dies. It is the woman, primal mother. Her gateway is the root of heaven and earth. It is like a veil barely seen. Use it, it will never fail. Heaven and earth last forever. Why do heaven and earth last forever? They are unborn. 
so ever living. The sage stays behind, thus he is ahead. He is detached, thus at one with all. Through selfless action, he attains fulfillment. The highest good is like water. Water gives life to the 10,000 things and does not strive. It flows in places men reject, and so it is like the Tao. In dwelling, be close to the land. In meditation, go deep into the heart. In dealing with others, be gentle and kind. In speech, be true. In ruling, be just. In business, be competent. In action, watch the timing. No fight. No blame. Better stop short than fill to the brim. Over sharpen the blade and the edge will soon blunt. Amass a store of gold and jade and no one can protect it. Claim wealth and titles and disaster will follow. Retire when the work is done. This is the way of heaven. Carrying body and soul and embracing the one, can you avoid separation? Attending fully and becoming supple, can you be as a newborn babe, washing and cleansing the primal vision? Can you be without stain, loving all men and ruling the country? Can you be without cleverness, opening and closing the gates of heaven? Can you play the role of woman, understanding and being open to all things? Are you able to do nothing, giving birth and nourishing, bearing yet not possessing, working yet not taking credit, leading yet not dominating? This is primal virtue.